iRock Radio, the world headquarters of rock. Stephen Wayne backstage, the Dome at the Oakdale Theater. Big show tonight with Seether Dale from Seether joining me. Thank you very much, man, for sitting down for a couple of minutes. We know no you guys are busy, and you got to be a little bit nervous. We get it because this is this is like one of the first dates on the tour, yeah. and the album is getting ready to drop. So, how are the nerves, by the way? Um, they're okay. They're okay. Uh, we, we're still uh, trying to get our sea legs a little bit, I think. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, each show goes a little bit more smoothly, and um, you know, so far so good. You know, the, the shows have been good. Uh, we have a new guitar player, um, Clint Lowry from Seven Dust, mm -hmm. on this tour. So, uh, you know. But I mean, it's it's been a, a pretty easy blend, you know. He's he's such a good player and um, you know, good buddy of ours too. So it's been cool. It's been a fun fun time so far. Poison the Parish is the name of the album. Getting ready to drop tomorrow, as a matter of fact. Okay. Yeah. So uh, when you're doing these shows like these, I know that you guys have done a couple of festivals already. So you guys come out with the festivals and you play the hits. Just you just try and get all the hits as because you're limited time. Play as many as the hits as you can. So now you're out on your own. You can broaden the set list a little bit. How much of the album will you be attacking tonight? Um, you know, we try not to play too much stuff before the album's actually out. Uh, but we've normally been just doing, you know, one or two, maybe three uh, of the new stuff. But it does, you know, the longer you do this, it does become a problem, you know, compiling a set list. Because, you know, it's almost like, okay, what, what can we afford not to play? You know, because, you know, people are going to expect the, the radio songs. Um, so there's you know 15 songs that you you kind of have to play and and doesn't leave a lot of room for <laughs> you know for for anything else you know if anything we we leave a couple of the singles off you know to sort of play what we want to play but um but yeah we'll we'll probably do you know at least one you know at least the, the new single tonight but um we try and change the set list up you know right. so that it's not the same every night and right kind of keeps it fresh for us the band and you know if someone attends more than a show you know then it keeps a little bit fresh for them too yeah. right right so like i said back to the festival thing you guys you is it is it is it rough like for you guys to go and do some festivals and then come back and do your own shows would you rather just do the run of festivals and then do your own shows or do, is that like a good just change of pace yeah i, I kind of like a festival every now and again um it's definitely a change of pace it's it's a lot easier there's there's no pressure on you to you know sell the tickets kind of thing is when you have your own show you know if the room's empty it's it's on you um so at a festival you're just you know hanging out with your buddies you know there's a lot of bands you know that you end up having toured with back in the day you know you make friends along the way so you get to see old pals and um you don't play very long so it's it's sort of an easy night right, right. and and then you just kind of socialize and hang out and have a good time so I, I do like those to sort of break up the you know the, yeah, the headline you guys have, haven't been on the road for a while so it's good to get out and do that get you to a, a much larger audience and then yeah. you get to do something nice and intimate like tonight at the oakdale theater so it's, it's good man yeah yeah you gotta you gotta change it up man um but it, it is fun to play on those big stages and have room to like you know move around whereas um although tonight the, the stage is actually you know decent size but yeah. we have done some smaller venues you know like two nights in a row mm -hmm. um like we just did two nights in Asbury Park. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of cool too, because, you know, we haven't played smaller clubs like that in a long time as yeah, well. So I can imagine. It, it's cool. It brings back a lot of good memories and yeah. almost like nostalgia, you know, like that, back in the day. That was going to be my next question. You're going from these large stadiums <laughs> to these smaller venues. You kind of feel like, hey, man, this is how we started. This It's like bringing it all back full circle. It's kind of like look going in reverse in a way and looking yeah. back in full circle for the band. Because you guys... When you first came out, I remember with the Oz Fests, and you guys were you guys were really hit. You were yeah. almost playing like six nights a week, man. Really hitting it really hard, and to go back to do that from festivals to smaller gigs, that must be really cool. It is. It is. Yeah, we uh, we've toned down the. I mean, we're still a hardworking band, but uh, in the beginning there, man, we were just pushing ourselves so hard, and it's draining, man. I mean, you can only do it for so long. And you start you start kind of losing your mind a little bit. So those days off in between are, are important. But yeah, it's cool. You know, we were just talking about the other day. You know, you know the first show or some of the first show we played were like to like you know a couple of our friends in the barman. Right, you know, right, in right. like this tiny little club, like no one was there, no one cared. And then you know we just kept at it and kept going. And you know now we 
it's a lot different now. So <laughs> it's cool. That seems to and be now, the common answer yeah. for most bands of, yeah. of your caliber, especially they go, you know what? We started playing like in front of three people, including the janitor, and now yeah. we're playing at, you know, uh, Welcome to Rockville, and there's yeah. 200,000 people, you know? Yeah. So yeah, it must be a great <laughs> feeling, man. It is. You know, it's, it's what you... That's what you aspire to, and, and and what you sort of, um, you know what, what you know. I, I guess where you set your goal at when when you start out. So, um, you kind of expect the worst, but hope for the best, and just you know put your head down. And well, we're keep glad doing you guys. <laughs> we were glad to be with you from day one, and we're yeah. glad to keep supporting you, man, because we love thank you, you guys, man. So thank thank, you, very, thank much. you very much for sitting down for a couple of minutes. Thank you, and uh, th- and we can't wait to uh, see the show. And I know that you're going to be coming back soon again so we look forward to sitting down with you guys again yeah man awesome thank Thank you you. very much all right this is irock radio the world headquarters of rock